Hello everyone, hope uh, everything good for you. This is my second session while interview preparation series of videos. I'm just trying to create some of the important videos which can be help for, helpful for you while interview preparation. Okay, these are the some common uh, points that have been touched by the interviews frequently. Okay, let me know your thoughts after watching the video in the comment section. This video talks all about the informatica performance tuning. Okay, uh, this is only the theory part. I'm not giving any um, real time examples. You can just uh, go through it once. Okay, um, the performance tuning. The goal of the performance tuning is that to optimize the session performance by eliminating performance bottlenecks. What is the general strategy of uh, to achieve the goal? So, just simple. The, to improve the session performance, we have to eliminate all the bottlenecks that have been causing for performance downgrade. We have to first eliminate the bottlenecks. Okay. Uh, we can't eliminate all bottlenecks at a time. So we have to first find out the eliminate uh, first find out uh, one bottleneck and eliminate it and try to find the second one this is a sequential steps we have to do okay if you tune all the bo bottlenecks you can further optimize session performance by increasing the number of pipeline partitions in the session adding partitions can improve performance by utilizing more the more of the system hardware while processing the session okay <clears throat> the methods to identify the session bottlenecks that are uh, run a test session configure a session to read from or write into flat file to identify source and target bottlenecks second study performance details and thread statistics which really helps you to understand what are the source input rows and what are the target output rows and what are the what are the error errors error counters and uh, what are the issues with the uh, input and output rows you can easily identify with the performance details and you can see all the steps that um, data transformation manager and integration service are have been doing so analyze performance details like read from disk write to disk counters to identify session bottlenecks third one is monitoring system performance you can use uh, system monitoring tools to view the percentage of the cpu usage io weights and paging to identify system bottlenecks Next topic is the thread statistics. Thread statistics are vital to identify source and target or transformation bottlenecks. Session log provides all these. Okay. Uh, first is runtime, that is amount of time thread was running. Idle time, amount of time thread is idle. Busy time, percentile of runtime, the thread is not idle. So the formula for busy time is equal to write time minus idle time by write time into 100 this is the general formula that we use no interviewer ask about this formula okay you don't need to worry but he may ask about thread statistics okay and <clears throat> so uh, to start how to find out the, uh, the bottlenecks and identify uh, the root causes for it and then uh, how to optimize the uh, things we'll see in sequentially first we have to identify source bottlenecks we can read the thread statistics in the session log to determine if the source is the bottleneck when the integration service spends more time on the reader thread than the transformation or writer threads then you have a source bottleneck how we find a source bottleneck simple <clears throat> there is a filter test there is a read test there is a db query i think db query and read test both seems to be same okay filter test what is a filter Okay, after source qualifier rule, place a filter and mark it as false so that uh, records will not flow into further. If you run a session, if you run a session, then you can see if reader thread is taking longer time than the, uh, sorry, if session running is less than the earlier time, uh, if it is greater than the earlier time, that means that there is a source bottleneck. Or you can take take out the query. Generally, in source qualifier, only the query causes the issues, right? So you will take the query from the source qualifier and try to run in the database. 
if retest and that is read database query running in the tool of database if it is running faster than the session then that means that we have a source bottleneck okay <clears throat> what are the main causes of uh, source bottleneck insufficient query query may need to be uh, tuned well and we have to write more uh, uh, more hints or something to uh, uh, to check the insufficient query and then small network db packet size so <clears throat> Next step is optimized source. So optimized source, nothing but what is the issue with the with the source bottleneck? That is insufficient query, right? So what we have to do? Optimize or tune the query to avoid uh, some uh, fuzzy things in that, and then increase database network packet size. And using Teradata fast export utility, try to improve the source uh, performance. And if you are using Sybase or MS SQL Server, then you have to use a temp database to join instead of joining in SQ. Connecting to Oracle DB sources uh, using conditional filters. These all can optimize the source performance. <clears throat> Once you are done with the source performance, the next one is identify target bottlenecks. To identify target bottlenecks, configure a copy of the session to write to a flat file target instead of a database target. If the session performance increases significantly, that means that you have a target bottleneck. If your target is a flat file, then uh, probably you don't have any target bottlenecks. You can also read the thread statistics in the session log to determine if the target is the bottleneck. When the integration service spends more time on the writer thread instead of the, sorry, not instead of, uh, if integration service spends more than more time on the writer thread than the transformation or the reader thread, then you have a target bottleneck. How do you test it? Configure a flat file as target and run a session. If session is taking less time than the DB, then there is a target bottleneck. What are the causes? General causes. Small checkpoint interval, small network DB packet size, uh, problem during heavy load operations. Say, some other operations are also going on in the database and you want to run the same uh, database table again with the session then there's some um, um, then there may be some problems while loading the issue and it will take some time to load the data so optimized target so to improve the performance on the target bottleneck drop indexes and constraints before loading into the target Increase checkpoint interval, use bulk loading, use external load, minimize deadlocks, increase database network packet size and optimize the Oracle target database. Next, <clears throat> so once you are done with the source and target bottlenecks identification and elimination, then you need to see mapping bottleneck or transformation bottleneck. This is uh, something which takes some time to implement but it can significantly boost the session performance. Focus on mapping level optimization after you optimize the target and sources. Generally, you can reduce the number of transformations in the mapping and delete unnecessary links between transformation to optimize the mapping. Configure the mapping with the least number of transformations and expressions to do the most amount of work possible. Delete unnecessary links between transformation to minimize the amount of data to be moved. You can identify mapping bottlenecks by adding a filter transformation before each target definition of the mapping. Set the filter condition to false so that no data will be loaded into the target. Then see if the time it takes to run the session is same as the original session that means that you have a mapping bottleneck. You can also identify mapping bottlenecks by using performance detail, high error rows and rows in lookup cache counters indicates a mapping bottleneck. To determine which transformation in the mapping is the bottleneck, add pass-through partition points to all transformations possible and read the thread statistics in the session log. When integration service spends more time on the transformation thread than the reader or writer or other transformation thread, that transformation has a bottleneck. So optimizing may be possible through flat file sources, configure single pass reading, optimize simple pass through mapping, optimize filters, Optimize data type conversations, optimize expression logic, optimize expressions, optimize external processes that we have been using in the mapping. 
So <clears throat> once source target and mapping is done that means that the session may be having the bottlenecks we will try to eliminate them. You can identify a session bottleneck by using the performance detail. The integration service creates performance details when you enable collect performance data. Collect performance data properties on then it will collect the statistics. Performance details display information about each transformation. All transformations have some basic counters that indicates the number of input rows, output rows and error rows. Causes, general causes, small cache size, low buffer memory and small commit intervals can cause session bottleneck. In this the session bottleneck, we have to uh, see uh, what are the performance counters that can help to identify the battle bottleneck. All transformations have counters such as read from disk, write to disk, rows in lookup cache, error rows. For example, each transformation tracks the number of input rows, output rows and error rows for each session. Some transformations also have performance counters. You can use the performance counters to increase session performance. Read from disk. If a session contains aggregator, rank or joiner transformation, examine each transformation read from disk and transformation write to disk counters. To view the session performance details while the session runs, Right click the session in the workflow monitor and choose properties. Click the properties tab in the details dialog, flag, dialog box. If these counters display any number other than zero, you can improve session performance by increasing cache sizes. The integration service uses the index cache to store group information and the data cache to store the transformer data, which is typically larger. Therefore, although both the index size and data cache sizes affect performance. You, you will most likely need to increase data cache size more than index cache size. Rows in lookup cache counter. Multiple lookups can decrease session performance. It is possible to improve session performance by locating the largest lookup tables and tuning those lookup expressions. Error rows counter. Transformation errors impact session performance. If a session has large numbers of in any of the transformation error counters, it is possible to improve performance by eliminating those errors. Lastly, in the next slide, we are seeing identify system bottlenecks. After you tune everything, you may consider tuning the system. You can identify system bottlenecks by using system tools to monitor CPU usage, memory usage and paging. The integration service uses system resources to process transformations, run sessions and read and write data. The integration service also uses system memory for other data such as aggregate, joiner, rank and cached lookup tables. You can use system performance monitoring tools to monitor the amount of system resources the integration service uses and identify system bottlenecks. On Windows, you can use system tools in the task manager or administrative tools. On Unix system, you can use system tools such as VMstat and IOStat to monitor system performance. Monitor system performance to view percentage of CPU usage and IO weights and paging for system bottlenecks. So this session enough covered the um, performance tuning topics uh, interviewer may not be asking all this stuff but he will uh, he will choose uh, the question to be answered say for example if you want to ask you how do you identify mapping bottleneck or session bottleneck then you have to tell them that he won't ask whole information again but it's just for your information okay thanks for watching video all the very best have a good day thank you